every month we talk about new Android apps. Some of them are good, some of them you end up using for a while and then you uninstall. So I thought let me just focus on 10 apps of 2019 that really stuck with me and I ended up using a lot of. Okay, so the first app has to be bottom quick settings because it has made life so much easier by giving me access to my settings and notifications at the bottom of the screen, which otherwise is at the top and a lot harder to reach in a big screen. And then there's also the option of applying different colors for your settings and notifications, which makes things a little bit more interesting and gives you more customization capabilities than the usual. And it goes beyond just looking good and being easy to access. It gives you even more features. So it just empowers you with more controls as compared to what you get on your phone by default. So you can see the entire list over here. In fact, you can place apps, you can place URL shortcuts, or you can even place direct shortcuts like, you know, dialing someone. So it's pretty phenomenal. The second one is an SMS organizer. It's called Kite. It is a lot of things. First of all, it's got an important tab, which is for all your transactions. Second is personal, so for contacts that you know and they've sent you a message. Third is just unread. And the fourth one actually is just spam. So all the useless stuff goes into this. Now at the top, you've got these tabs. First one is booking. So if in case you do make any bookings like, uh, you know, for entertainment or for theaters or for movies. The second one is actually pretty interesting. It's passbook. So anytime you get a transaction from your bank, uh, it reads that message and then creates accounts for you related to that. So you can always have a look at all your transactions that have happened for that account and the remaining balance. The app is free, but only a couple of things are actually locked. For example, changing or personalizing the entire look of the app in terms of themes and chat themes and setting up a passbook lock. The third app is called Creative. It's a wallpaper app. And I know we keep talking about so many wallpaper apps, but this app is what has stuck with me in the year 2019. And you can see why these wallpapers are really nice. I don't see them too often anywhere actually. And that's why they're exclusive for this app. So the collection in general is pretty good within this app. Oh, and by the way, uh, there's a notification and ringtone section. I know it's sort of old school, but guys just give it a, Shot. Just listen to the notification and ringtones that are here, you would actually like them. Now, if you like a wallpaper, obviously you can set it directly from within the app. You can download the entire uh, image and you can see the resolution. They're all quiet high. And if you don't like 3D or illustrated wallpapers, you could go for CRISPR. So these are actual shots taken by people of real objects, places and people. And the collection section in this app is totally wallpaper worthy. They're just such great shots. So definitely give it a shot. The fourth app in the list is called Moobert and it's a music streaming app, but with a very different purpose. First of all, all the music is generated using AI. So what you hear is going to be unique and new. Second, it's got music for different genres as well as different kind of activities. And the, and the music actually helps you perform that activity with more focus, more attention. You can like or dislike the music that it generates. So it learns your preferences over time. And plus it's got some really good visualizations that are just really cool to watch. But overall, from a productivity standpoint, the app has been really helpful. Now the app is free, but only for limited variety. If you need more, you're gonna have to shell out quite a bit of money and that's $60 a year. But yeah, you still get quite a bit. And talking about staying focused, I batch my notifications. So I get all notifications together at specified intervals of time. And I look at them together. So that way I don't miss any notification but I get to decide when I want to see them. So some apps are under instant that are important for work or, you know, just for updates, but some are batched like WhatsApp, Instagram, Messenger, those that really add clutter to your life. You could also use this app called Noticeave that saves all notifications instead of showing them. And then you can decide when you want to see all of them. And you can, uh, you know, you can see them as just chat or just from social media or just from shopping apps that you have. And uh, yeah, you can choose which apps should be saved under notice save and which you should see up front. The next one is a screen recorder and a really good one for three reasons. One, it can record at pretty much any screen resolution with one of the options being use my screen resolution, which is just so much easier. You don't have to select if you don't know that is. Then the bit rate, it records at 40 megabits a second, which just means that your recording is going to be of high quality. 
and then you can record at 90 and 120 frames per second as well. So 60 is what you might generally have. 90 and 120 is for OnePlus 70 and the ASUS ROG phone. But yeah, it's got that option, which is just brilliant. And you can choose to record audio from outside, which is the environment or not. So in general, it's just a lot of configurations are possible and it's just so easy to access. You just pull down the notification tray, hit screen recorder and it'll start and you shake it, it's just going to stop. It'll give you options to share, trim or delete the video and you can access the video from your gallery. The next one is an icon pack. It's called Super Black and it's absolutely phenomenal. I simply love the color pop, the gradient and the neon effect, which is not too loud, it's a little subtle. There are about 4,500 icons in this, which is just great. It's pretty new in the Play Store. It's just been a couple of months, maybe one or two. But just look at the quality of these icons and they're gonna look super rich on dark backgrounds. Okay, so the next one. If you're someone who takes a lot of screenshots and you feel the need to organize them or be able to search for them, this is the app for you. It's called Screenshot Go by Firefox. Just hit that button and then categorize your screenshot under categories that you can create yourself. Now you can go into that category, for example, under memes, I can go and then I can just see those screenshots. Or let's say I created another one called landscape. Let's say I wanna search for one of these screenshots that contain the word Banff. But you know what? You don't remember if it had it, but the screenshot remembers. It was right there. So it really makes it easy and you can pretty much extract any text that's there on the screenshot it's gotta be a little clear, but yeah, it'll do the job. And now coming to the next one. This app has been creating a lot of noise lately and it's called Google Recorder. It's not available on the Play Store for all devices, so I'm gonna leave a link. But the best part is, obviously you can record pretty much any audio, but it also creates a transcript real time of whatever has been recorded. The best part, however, is that you can then search within the recording or within the transcript. So let's say I'm looking for a word called app it's gonna tell me exactly where in the recording that word is, and I can look for the same in its transcript. You can then save the file and you can share it to your Google Drive or with someone else. The next app is called Audify, and it simply speaks out notifications from apps that you want to hear notifications from. This is typically helpful when I'm working and my phone's kept a little far away, or when I'm driving, especially when I'm driving. All it requires is that I be connected to a speaker and I can select the apps for which I want to hear notifications. It could be a call, an email, or let's say a WhatsApp message. And the app is so customizable that I can choose a context. So when I'm only connected to my car speaker or when I'm only connected to my Alexa, which is in the drawing room, I can only make sure that it works when I'm connected to those speakers. So that's pretty cool. And then there are a whole bunch of settings that I can play with and customize the app as per my need exactly. And to make things even more pleasing for you, it gives you the option to select a language that you're comfortable in. So, you know, it uses the Google's text-to-speech engine and you can choose the language that's best suited. Now you can try the app for free. It does give you 218 notifications, but if you like the app and it's useful, you could go in for the unlimited bundle, which is for about 99 rupees. And the last app in the list is called Envelope. Very simple app. You wanna send a file, you upload it, it'll create a link which you can then share with your friends. You can upload as many files as you like, it'll keep giving you as many links for that. You control the link and uh, you can use it to share it with your friends again, or you can delete the file altogether so no one can access that file once you've removed it. Another app in the Play Store is called Firefox Send that does the same job. So guys, those were the 10 apps that have been really helpful. I've been using them a lot and they've really stuck with me through the year 2019. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.